Hello practice challengers. Today we're focusing on the right hand. We're using Carol Ann Wheeler's um, wrist action exercise. I posted the page from her book, it's page six, um, up on the website, but I wanted to break it down one step further. So before we even use our violin and our bow, I wanted to go back to a previous exercise I had posted where you take a pencil and I want you to be really uh, focused and aware on what parts of the hand are moving and doing what in order to open the wrist. So the first thing we're looking at is the thumb. And have you created a hollow bow hold or a tunnel by bending both joints of the thumb? And if you have, then your wrist will be nice and open. See, so I can turn it both ways. So there's my down bow and my up bow, my down bow and my up bow. And what I'm hoping you see in that really funny hold with the pencil is I'm almost looking like a spider that's crawling. So my fingers take on a different position when I push down and they curl back into position as I pull up. So pushing down, they straighten, so does the thumb. And then as I come back on an up bow, everything's back into that curled position. So this is our neutral, perfect bow hold position. I shouldn't use the word perfect. This is our neutral bow hold position where the hand is nice and round. So take a look and see what's happening with your thumb. Where does first finger hit the stick? Try and keep two and three close together and then pinky on the stick. And just try going down, up, down, up, down, up. And see what sort of a circle you can rotate. It should be able to cause a half circle by um, pushing a down bow and pulling an up bow. Once we've done that, then I want you to take your bow and you're essentially going to do the same thing by bowing a full down bow and being really conscious of going all the way down and extend from the fingers, all the way up and pull up from the thumb, all the way down from the forearm and extend from the fingers and then all the way up. As we speed up, you're gonna find that the motion goes from being forearm movement to wrist and finger movement. And this isn't an exercise that focuses on tone, so don't get too caught up on, it doesn't sound pretty, don't worry about that. You're focusing entirely on the mechanics of the hand. So for example, down bow, come all the way up, so I'm, as I'm playing these long bows, my forearm is doing a lot of the movement. Extend the wrist and fingers. Wrist and fingers are pulling me back up. So I should look at that point like I'm, I'm beating eggs. So as I speed up, I'm isolating the movement until it's just the fingers and the wrist. So the, the trick is the more relaxed that bow hold is and the more relaxed your fingers are, the more fluid the wrist will be. And when you're first starting, you're elongating from the forearm. So that is today's exercise. It's for all levels because this is such a fundamental part of our playing. If anybody's having any troubles, any challenges, send me a note. Let's hear what's happening and we'll fix it from there. Have an awesome day, you guys.